What's up, folks? Happy Sunday. Flying Health Coach coming at you. Cheers, as always. You know the drill. Hope you all had a great week filled with all the experience of human emotions, you know, sadness, depression, happiness, all the good things. Um, big day today on Sunday for all the folks in Minnesota or Wisconsin. Packers play the Vikings, so we'll do a quick video before that happens. But um, obviously, go Pack, go, right? Um, today, what brings me today is the big question. Um, today, we're going to talk about what's your why, right? And when I mean what's your why, it's the why behind you do what you do, right? It's the why behind all your goals, aspirations, and your dreams, and what's driving you, right? One of the laws of the universe, 12 laws of the universe, if you ever look it up, um, one of the laws that I really like referencing is the law of inspired action. And if you kind of take the root, root of that phrase, right, inspired action, right, what does that mean? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It means what's inspiring you to act on a day-to-day -day basis, right, i.e., what's your why? So my why is different than your why, right? So my goal in life, you know, with aviation and, you know, everything else I'm trying to do right now, it's, you know, I have a multitude of whys behind why I'm doing what I'm doing on a daily basis, right? So, you know, I try to work hard whenever it's fitness or career or financial stuff, right? I eventually want to be able to buy certain things for myself, a spouse, you know, family, right? Take care of my uh, family back home, right? So I have multiple whys in my little bucket list of the reasons that are motivating me on a day-to-day -day basis. So... If you're kind of stuck in life right now and you're you're kind of unsure of where you want to go, maybe you haven't figured out your why yet, right? You haven't figured out what's actually inspiring you to wake up every single day and do what you want to do in life, right? You know, Tony Robbins, and I've done a couple coaching calls over the past month um, with the Tony Robbins folks, and one call really struck me, and he, you know, and I was a coach for 10 years, corporate health coach or whatever, whoop you do, but, um, you know, I... It's easy to coach other people, but when you get coached yourself, it's a totally different experience. And I never actually sat down and figured out why, what motivates me to do what I'm doing, right? So, but I, when I started asking myself those questions that I asked people for all those years, I started to figure out why I do what I do, right? And a lot of the questions he asked me involved, he would ask, okay, Mark, you know, what's, what's your goal in life, right? Well, I want to make well over six figures every single year. Why? Because um, I want to buy stuff for myself. Why? Because I have certain material needs that I want to fulfill in my life. Okay, what else do you want? What else is that important to you? Because I want to take care of my family. Why? Because I love my family. You know? So I won't go down the rabbit hole of questions, but you kind of get the drift, right? You ask yourself one of those broad questions. Why do I want to do this? But then you have to dig down a little bit deeper and really figure out, okay, what's the meaning behind that why, right? Again, law of inspired action. Once you figure out your why behind what your goals are, that's going to help you take action towards them. And again, we've talked a lot in this channel about taking action. Taking action doesn't have to mean a 180 change overnight. That's, that's never, it never works, right? You know, I used to coach people who wanted to quit smoking and maybe one out of a hundred were able to just completely stop. But even that one out of a hundred, or let's say 10 out of a hundred, right? Make the math a little bit different. You know, one out of those 10 people actually stopped, right? The other nine started smoking again six months later, right? So what was the point in the first place? It's the same thing if you want to lose 20 pounds, Right? If you lose 20 pounds in two months, you know, good job. But if you gain it back two months later, what was the point? You just wasted four months of your life right? versus developing, having inspired action to maintain daily habits and keep consistent with your goals every single day. Right? So once you figure out your why, it's not about changing, doing a 180 change overnight, but it's gradually doing a little bit something different every single day that's going to build over time. So point of whole of the story is you have to figure out your why, right? And let's use fitness as an example again. So I want to lose 20 pounds. Okay, why? Because I want to feel better. Why? Because right now I don't feel good. Okay, what else do you, what else is important to you? Well, I want to play with my kids. Why? Because I want to be around for them for the duration of their life. Why? Because I love them, right? So you kind of get the drift, right? You're, you're asking the, a bigger question, but then you're trying to, you know, dig a little bit deeper with that why and really figure out to the core why is that important to you. Um, and it's not easier said than done, and I get that. And that's why I'm here, right? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't, still can't believe I do this. <laughs> but up here in the corner will uh, be my email. Uh, like and subscribe to the Flying Health Coach on YouTube. Obviously, feel free to shoot me an email for one-on-one -on -one coaching. We can always, uh, I got a great set of ears, right? So if you just need a bitch, that's cool. Um, sometimes that's all you need, right? I mean, point of health coaching is not to tell you what to do. It's to meet you where you're at and help you guide you to where you want to be. Um, and that's what I do, right? And that's what I did for a long time. I've coached thousands of people over my, over my tenure as a coach, and I'm here to help uh, whoever needs it. But to get back to the point of our story here is you figure out your why. Figure out what is going to motivate you to live the life that you want to live, right? 
And it's important, right? I mean, if you don't even figure out your why, you're going to wake up every single day. You're going to live in this semi-mediocre mindset and lifestyle forever. And I cannot tell you, all the people that I've coached, and again, I've told the story before, I coached a lady who said, hey, Mark, you know, right now I really don't like my job much, but it pays my bills. And, you know, maybe in five years when I retire, then I'll be happy. You know, and she said this month after month after month, right? And I heard this all the time from these people. And it just really stuck to me that so many of us are living in a, a life that we don't want to live. We're living in a life of mediocrity, which mediocrity is a plague, right? It's like COVID, right? It creeps into your mind, especially if you're, you know, surrounding yourself with people that maybe aren't motivating you or you're in a job that doesn't motivate you and you're you're coming home from a job you don't like, but you're not you're not pursuing other things in life that actually light you on fire, right? And that stuff, you got to find that stuff. And this lady, like, it's, it, was, it was unreal. She would always tell me, I'll be happy in five years. I'm like, man, you'll, you'll be 70 in five years. Like, be happy now, right? What, what are you not doing now that's not, gonna, you know, that's not making you happy? So, because she didn't know what her why was, right? She never took the time to figure out why do I, what's waking me up in the morning? What's motivating me to keep living right now? And that's what you have to figure out, right? So whatever goal you have in life right now, whatever your passions are, whether it's weight loss, whether it's, you know, the pilot stuff, aviation, maybe it's, doesn't be aviation, right? Maybe you want to be a doctor. Maybe you want to be a hairstylist. Maybe you want to go drive a dump truck. I don't know. It doesn't matter what it is, but dig down deep and figure out what's truly going to make you happy in your life and then ask yourself why, and then go through those list of questions and really get down deep and figure out this is what's going to truly motivate me to wake up. Remember law of inspired action, right? What's going to require you to take massive action, right? I know I just said earlier, you know, we're not doing a 180 and right, massive action is not a 180, right? But taking massive action for you, maybe it's just waking up five minutes earlier, right? Because you're sleeping every single day. Maybe massive action for you is going to be, you know, smoking one less cigarette, right? And think of the compounding effect of that stuff though, right? Or fitness, right? Maybe the massive action for you is just walking an extra thousand steps a day, right? Massive action doesn't have to mean what it means to me, what it means to you, right? Because this is all about you at the end of the day. So, anywho. Uh...